Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man here. Today we're going to be hanging out in my home theater talking about one of my favorite home theater accessories, and that's banana plugs. In this video, we're going to look at different types of banana plugs. I'm going to share with you how to install them, as well as give my recommendations on what I found works great. Now with that said, let's jump into the video. Okay, so here we have four different styles of banana plugs. Now there's a lot of different banana plugs that are out there on the market. These just happen to be four different brands and four different styles that I have used and purchased over the years. So let's go through them. So the first one here is a Monster Cable Quick Lock MK2. The next one is a Cable Matters Closed Screw Type. The third one is an Open Screw Banana Plug. And then the final one is a Locking Banana Plug. Okay, so to install your banana plugs, I recommend getting these five items. A pair of wire strippers, either a box cutter or a sharp knife, a really small flathead screwdriver, your banana plugs, and of course your speaker wire. Okay, so the first step you're going to want to do is take your box cutter or your knife. Usually your speaker wire is connected here. So you're going to take your box cutter or your knife and you're just going to cut right down the center. Be real careful. Of course, you don't want to cut yourself. Once you get it started, you can just give it a pull and it'll separate. Now you want to take your wire cutters and depending on how thick your wires are, you'll see on the wire cutters there's different gauge wire. Just find the one that fits. So like right here, if I pull on eight, see how nothing happens. So we're going to just keep working our way down until we get to it. I think it's 12 gauge is what I've got. Yeah. So let's go down to 12 gauge and I typically trim about maybe a half inch. So you're just gonna squeeze and pull. Now you'll notice when I did that, there's still a little jacket right here. So sometimes what I'll do, if that happens, just grab a smaller one and pull that off. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this other side. Okay, same thing there. Just pull that off. Okay, so now we have our wire stripped. So I'm gonna show you how to install each one of these. So the first one is the Monster Cable Quick Locks. To install those, you're just gonna unscrew this base, and then we can set this tip aside. So what you'll see here is we're gonna feed the wire through the bottom, Right here, there's some little teeth and that's gonna secure the wire. Now you'll notice there's a red label here and a blue label here. So typically what I like to do, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you're consistent on both ends of the cable. What I like to do is I use red and a lot of times on your speaker wire, there'll be some writing. So in this case, there's some writing right here so I follow that wire all the way to the tip. So that's gonna be my red. So what I'll do is feed it through the bottom and you wanna come up just a little bit. Now I can tell with these particular ones, we need to trim a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut this just a little bit like there. So let's feed it up through the bottom and what you're gonna do, you barely wanna come over the edge. You just take your fingers and you're gonna fold it down over those little teeth. I just kinda of go in different directions. So I fold some on the right side and fold some on the left side, fold some on the back side. What you end up with is this copper wire folds over these teeth. And now we can grab our tip And we're just gonna screw it down nice and tight. So now that grips that wire and it's not coming out. So we're gonna do the same thing to this other side. Remove the base, feed the wire, fold the wires. So you can see it's a pretty quick process. Once you have them folded, screw it down all the way. 
and those are now installed. So I'm going to undo these and set these aside. The next set is the cable matters. So they're very similar to the monster cable. You unscrew the base. Now these are a little bit different because right here, you'll see there's threads from the bottom all the way up to almost the top. And so when you feed this wire, again, we're gonna walk down the, the cable. We see that this is white, follow that up to the tip. And that one's gonna be our red. So we're gonna feed it up through the bottom again, just like we did on the monster cable. You can't fold it down too far because if you get it over these threads, it won't screw on. And again, I try not to just fold it all down. I try to go all the way around as much as I can. Once you do that, slide it on top and begin to tighten it down. Give it a little tug and you would do the same thing for the next one. So we'll go ahead and undo that. Now the next style is a little bit different. This is called an open screw banana plug. So what's gonna happen is there's a couple of ways that you can install this. You can either unscrew it like that. Again, find our wire, so there's the color. So this one's black, so I'm gonna use the non-writing one. So right here you can see this is called an open screw so we can feed it right in here and tighten it up from the bottom so you can see this is now fed through the bottom so it's going to attach a little bit differently so you can do it that way or you can unscrew it all the way and you can do it the same way that we did on the other ones. So you can feed it up through the bottom. Again, you may have to pull the wire, kind of straighten it out. Feed it up through the bottom, fold it down over the edge, tighten it down. Just like that. So that has two ways that you can attach it just depending on your liking. Now you'll notice there's this little piece here, so make sure you don't lose that. That goes in first. That's what's going to secure it if you use the open screw type. Okay, so the last type is the locking banana plug. So you're gonna wanna untwist this jacket here, lay it to the side. Now before we worry about attaching the wire, one thing you have to do is take the jacket, so this is red. Again, we're gonna match up our writing here. Follow that to this one. And you wanna feed the wire first through the jacket like that. Then we're gonna take our banana plug, and there's two set screws right here. You're gonna to wanna to loosen those. If you unscrew them too far, they'll fall out and you have to put them back in. So we're just gonna get them Now you'll realize as I'm installing these, this definitely is a set that takes a little bit more work than the others. So once you get that unscrewed, we're just gonna feed the wire. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that you feed the wire all the way in there. It, in this case, the 12 gauge wire is a little tight, so that's actually a good thing. So you're gonna feed it all the way till it stops. And then we're gonna tighten down these two set screws. Make sure they're pretty tight. Okay, just give it a little snug, make sure it's stayed, make sure it's secure. And then we're gonna take this jacket, slide it up.
and now it's attached. Okay, so now we're gonna turn the speaker around. Okay, so if we look at the back of the speaker terminal, most people will unscrew these And normally you feed the bare wire in through the bottom or the top, tighten them back down, but that defeats the purpose of what we're wanting to do. So we want to be able to use banana plugs, but the first thing you'll notice is that there's no place to install the banana plugs. Right at the tip of this, there's caps, and these caps are removable. So what I recommend the first thing to do is go ahead and unscrew the top and the bottom, like that, and go ahead and remove this little metal jumper and just slide it off to the side. Now we're gonna to wanna to tighten these back down. And the reason why you do that is you'll notice, the reason why we do that is you'll notice that now we can get underneath this cap a little bit easier. So we're gonna do the same thing up here. Loosen that, loosen that. Set the jumper off to the side. Tighten them back down. Okay, so you're gonna take your small flathead screwdriver and I would recommend just gently coming under the edge. That way you don't scratch. Now I take my time on these because I don't wanna scratch them up. They just pop out just like that. So now we need to loosen these again. Take our jumper. Slide that in place. Tighten it back down. Do the same thing to the positive terminals. Tighten it back down. Okay, so now I wanna go through the pros and cons of each one. I'm gonna start off with my least favorite. My least favorite has gotta be the cable matters. So the cable matters, the reason why I don't like it as much is over time, as you insert it and remove it, insert it, remove it, the tip right here becomes loose because these pieces get pushed in and bent, and so it no longer wants to stay in, it's no longer secure. Now what I did find, now one thing you can do is, if it does become loose over time, you can take your box cutter and go right in between these blades and just kind of gently pull it out. Now don't bend it too far, but you want to just bend it just a little bit. And by doing so, it'll cause this post to become thicker and allow it to be more secure. The next one, the open screw banana plug. Overall, these work very, very well. I've yet to have these become loose. They remain really firm or really secure. No issues there. The monster cable. These are very well built. And one thing I like about them is they do have this plastic rubber, they do have this rubber jacket around the bottom. Now what's nice about that is you don't have to worry about two of them bumping together and shorting out because the rubber keeps it separated. Now I've never had to bend these out. These have been probably used more than any other one that I've got. And they work really, really great. And then lastly, are the locking. And the reason why they call them locking is you'll notice there's a sleeve here and there's two posts, one on each side. Now what happens is as you tighten this to the right, as these posts move up the shaft, 
it's going to separate this post. And you probably can't see that, but as I open it, or as I tighten it, it's opening up this shaft and making it wider. So the way that works is as you insert it, see it's loose right now, but we just start to tighten this and it causes the inside to get thicker and locks in place. Now what I really love about these is the fact that you never have to worry about them becoming loose because you control that by just loosening and sliding it out. Okay, so I wanna give you a couple of pros and cons as you kinda of look over which banana plugs might be best for you. My least favorite banana plugs are the cable matters. And the biggest reason, like I mentioned before, are the tips get loose. Now the build quality is fine on them. I don't see anything inherently wrong with those. They're very easy to install and they're very inexpensive. The open screw type, honestly, I don't really use that much. They seem like they work great. They're good build quality. I just personally haven't used them. The two that I've used the most over the years are the monster cable and the locking. Now a couple things you may want to keep in mind. If you have speakers that you're mounting close to the wall or flush mounted with the wall, none of these will work because you have to realize that these stick out from your speaker and so there's got to be some space between the speaker and the wall. But if you have that, any of these will work. It just depends on your preference for style, features, and build quality. With the monster cable, you do have this rubber base, so you don't have to worry about the two touching and shorting out. Whereas sometimes on the back of the receiver, I found that these got really close sometimes. And I was afraid that if they touched, for whatever reason, maybe I was pulling one out or, or I bump one, if they touch and the receiver's on, you could run the risk of shorting out your receiver. Now by far, these are my favorite. The only issue that I have with them is because you have this jacket and just the way the mechanics work, you'll notice it's quite a bit longer than say the Monster Cable. The Monster Cable are an incredible build quality. I love the rubber jacket. I've never had to adjust these. They always remain firm. They're easy to install, and they're nice, small, and compact. So my personal choice would either be the Monster Cable or the Locking Banana Plugs. And as I mentioned before, it really comes down to the different options. If you need a shorter banana plug, these are definitely gonna be the shortest. If you like the style of having the ability to lock the banana plugs so that they stay secure no matter how many times you use them, these are a great choice. Now one thing I want to say is banana plugs will not increase the quality of the sound. Now what banana plugs are meant for is convenience. And for me, that convenience is invaluable because I love comparing speakers to one another. And so to be able to do that easily, I've got to have banana plugs. It's too time consuming and too difficult to be able to unscrew, slide it in there, go sit in your listening position, listen to what that speaker sounds like, and then slide to the speaker and you have to do that over and over and over. If you're wanting to compare speakers or if you have to move your speakers often, banana plugs are an extremely convenient feature. Now one thing to keep in mind as well is if you purchase banana plugs, you need to decide do you only want them on the speaker side or do you want them on the speaker side and on your receiver side or your amplifier side. So let's say you had a 7.2 system so you've got seven speakers in your room, you're gonna need 14 pair of the banana plugs if you wanna equip every speaker as well as the back of your receiver. Now one thing I really hate is trying to install speaker wire on the back of a receiver. Now a lot of the modern receivers are really, really convenient because they put them all in a horizontal line, but when they have them all vertical side by side by side by side, it's really kind of a pain in the rump to have to undo those, try to get it in the little gap, tighten it down, making sure that none of the wires are strayed so they short out your receiver or your speakers and cause a problem. Banana plugs simplify that. You install the banana plugs, 
and you literally just slide them right into each speaker and you're good to go. I'll post the links down in the description below to the different banana plugs that we talked about today. If you do decide to purchase, if you click on the links, that does help out this channel just a little bit. Also, if there's banana plugs that you found that you like and that you use in your setup, and you'd like to let the YouTube community know about those, feel free to post that in the comments below. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully that provided you with some good information on banana plugs. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, you guys be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.